Please join me in prayer. Holy, divine creator, you call us in and you call us to new life and you call us to be transformed. We come to you today in the midst of all kinds of things happening in our world. There are some things that have been exciting and some things that have been profound disappointments. There are some of us who are in our second day after our second dose of vaccinations and are feeling crummy. And there are some of us who are still anxiously refreshing and refreshing and refreshing the page of our local medical sites trying to find a chance to get in and get those COVID vaccines. And so I ask you this morning to be with each of us, no matter where we are and what we bring with us to worship today. Sit with us, hold us, and transform us. Take us from whatever state we're in right now in this moment and Start the work within us to be closer to you, to be more like Jesus, to be who you've called us to be in this wild world that is at times heartbreaking and at times unspeakably beautiful. We are so grateful for your presence in our lives. So grateful to know that we are never alone, no matter what. And as we worship this morning, we are so grateful for your presence and for the amazing things you do for us. This morning we pray, oh, we pray for your healing presence in the lives of those who are sick and ill and who are just having a rough week, who are dealing with chronic illness or long-term illness or just are not feeling quite right today. We pray by name especially for Kathy and Dolores and Ben. We pray for Larry, Suzanne, Jamie, Victoria, Paul, and Mary Jo. And we will take a moment for all of those prayers that weren't covered already, the ones that we each hold in our hearts and some that we don't know how to take out of our hearts and put into words. And so we will hold some time now for that divine silence. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. We pray using the prayer taught to us by your Son, Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.